Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. Head up. Now we have all the meat officially sealed. We have the permit. We're about to put in a big Ziploc bag. We're gonna throw it into this big old ice chest. What's up guys, it's Brandon J. And today is the day we finally provide food for the houseboat. If you guys have watched the houseboat series, you've known we are staying on the houseboat with limited resources for seven days in total isolation. Uh, we have solar panels that are gonna provide electricity for all our batteries, including the cameras we're filming with. We only have a limited amount of water and a limited amount of food, which as you guys know, we ran out of on night two. So <laughs> today is our day where we're gonna be going out offshore to spearfish, potentially some giant fish to bring home. Now, this is a huge, huge deal for all of us because we have been absolutely failing miserably every single night when it comes to going, gathering, and capturing food for the family. Being out here on the houseboat, we pretty much have boat neighbors where people just drive by, see what we're up to, talk to us. They're super nice people. Well, we ended up running into Elliot's friend uh, whose name is Mr. Dollar, which is actually a pretty cool name if you ask me. But Dollar saw we were basically struggling and he actually does guide services for a living. So I'm gonna have that linked in the description below. He didn't ask me to do that. Basically, Mr. Dollar offered to take us out on his offshore boat and allow us to go and catch fish on rod and reel. And preferably for me, I'm gonna dive in and try to spear some fish for dinner. Like I say in all of my videos, all of the fish, anything we get, nothing's gonna go to waste, especially in today's video because we're literally gonna eat this stuff tonight because we haven't really eaten well for the past two days. By the way, my breakfast today was a half a slice of orange because I had to share the other half with Mr. Jack James behind the camera. So we're hungry, man. There we go, we're leaving. <laughs> Houseboat, little boat, <laughs> both the skis all in a train. Oh man, we're officially heading out now. All right guys, so we just made it to the spot and I am so freaking excited. Um, we've got the guys back there casting out. AP just got a huge mangrove snapper for the crew to eat tonight. That's the whole goal today is to get food for the next few nights. Our good buddy Dollars got us on the spot. He said, Brandon, if you want, jump in, spearfish. It's my time to shine. The area we're in right now is about 50 foot, but the fish are suspended about 20. A bunch of giant mangrove snapper, my favorite fish to eat. I couldn't ask for anything better. I'm about to hop in with a spear gun, see what we can get. This is gonna be so next level. Oh my gosh. So I made a couple deep drops and uh, did not see any of the mangrove snapper the boys were catching. Luckily, uh, we got, I guess, four for dinner tonight. So successful mission, thanks to uh, the guys back here. I have not contributed yet, but we are going to the next spot uh, where we're going to be diving like these big towers and uh, the top of the towers are in like 20 foot of water. So hopefully big fish are circling it. We'll be able to pop some. These guys are probably gonna continue to uh, fish from the top. I'm gonna be down below with a spear gun and <laughs> Hopefully, get us a big old fish fillet. Here goes nothing. down there man
other side. I stoned him, he's gone. Oh, that's so scary. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at that. Big old Cuda. Look at the chompers on that guy. Holy crap. It's like this uh, whole thing, this whole tower, is just guarded by these dudes, man. This is one of the smaller ones. Oh my gosh, so we're hooked up to maybe a permit. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. Let's go, buddy. I'm trying, buddy. Come to daddy. Dude, it won't stop. All right. This is what we needed to put food on the table. Oh my God, dude. He's taking everything I hey, worked for. That reel, a couple of right there. One more All right. Oh my God, dude. I want to see this thing. Though. Dude, me too. All right. Come on. Come on. Dude. We have been hungry for days and this fish could solve all of that. No! No! Oh my god, he's huge! He's huge! I see color! My gosh, dude! No! Not again! Not again, AV! We just saw him. At least we've seen him now. Oh boy! No! Uh -oh. He's trying to make it to the tower to break you off. Alright, he's under the boat, I can see. Oh no! No! Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Alright. Are we netting him or what's happening yeah, here? Well, he ain't ready yet. No, come on, he's ready, bro. He's oh, ready. Okay. He's ready. He's ready. Dude. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. All right. Head up. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Woo! Wow! Is that your first one? That's my first one ever right there. I saw one of these earlier on the tower. I wanted to spear it so bad, but he was a little too far. And apparently this is a really good eating fish. Oh my gosh, dude, look at that! Wow! Thank you so much, man. Yeah, grab the Kobe. Look at that. Woo! Either way, we got dinner, dude. Speared one, caught one. Oh, let's get this guy on ice. A lot of this stuff feels foreign to me, but this right here, I know about this. <laughs> if you guys watch my channel, you know I know about shiners. <laughs> These aren't really shiners, but it makes me feel at home a little bit. <laughs> oh! He got oh! 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 Oh my God! No! No! There she is in all her glory. All right, so we've got two permit here. I caught one, Parrot got the other. I think Parrot got whatever one's bigger, so whichever one's bigger, that's Parrot's. Of course, we have the good old Barracuda, the classic. I actually speared this guy, it was really deep. All thanks to Parrot. We've got this Cobia right here, which is an insanely delicious fish to eat. I'm super excited, because I've never got to eat one of these. Five of these guys right here. I actually didn't catch any of these either. I was diving, but I couldn't find them underwater. Uh, these are mangrove snapper. And uh, these are my favorite fish to eat ever. So super excited about these. All right, finally back on the houseboat. And right now we have got a makeshift cleaning station. So we've got the Yeti. We're gonna clean the five snappers first. We've got the power inverter. We've got the electric fillet knife. And uh, right now there's a whole bunch going on. AP is dealing with all the boats and jet skis because we're gonna drift back into tarpon territory. I'm not really sure. So. It's kind of a mess. Everybody's doing a little bit of everything, but we need to get these fish cleaned. We have all the fish in here on ice, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean up everything. Then we're gonna freezer save them, or we're gonna freeze freezer bag them. All right, so all of this right here is all five of those snapper, completely filleted, cleaned. 
Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw these on ice, clean the permit. I've never cleaned a permit before, uh, so I'm gonna start on mine. It's the little bit smaller one. Uh, I think it's like a 17 pounder and Perix is a 20 pounder. So we'll attempt with mine first, see how that goes. And then if I can figure it out, I'll let Perrick mess his up. <laughs> Lays off this are about to be so absolutely absurd. Now that, <laughs> check that out. That is a freaking fillet right there, man. Oh my god. So all the fish are completely cleaned. Remember, this is five snapper, one cobia, two permit. So right here we have all of our snapper. This right here is Peric's whole cobia that's chopped up in steaks. And right here behind me, we have all the permits. So we've got so many fish that we're gonna be able to cook for this evening. We're gonna start off with the uh, cobia right here. So I have this like little food saver situation. It's honestly become my best friend on all these videos. So there's no way we can eat all this meat tonight. So check this out, zoom in on this right here. We're gonna go ahead and vacuum seal it right here at the boat. That one's done, open it up. And there you got your cobia nice and sealed up right there. It's gonna be so perfect. Just toss it in the cooler, the freezer. You don't have to worry about anything getting in that. Perfectly sealed. And perfect, number two. Now we have all the meat officially sealed. We have the permit. We're about to put in a big Ziploc bag. We're gonna throw it into this big old ice chest and we're gonna be able to eat off this food for the next few days. Well, honestly, we could all have breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the next few days, all fish. We're about to all be super healthy <laughs> here on the houseboat. We're done with the potato chips. Um, but no, this is super great. Uh, AP is up there cooking right now. Um, so we're gonna put this on ice and let's see what he's up to. We have been struggling for the past few days out here on the houseboat. Almost a week now, we're closing in on a week, um, but we got a ton of food today. I'm so, so happy. I couldn't have done it without AP. Um, AP really slayed the cobia and the permit. Uh, I got one of the permit, but he also got some snapper. So he was like uh, bringing the meat to the table today. That's why I had to do all the hard work cleaning it and whatnot. <laughs> but AP's also got us cooking up uh, one cobia steak, so go ahead and get a quick zoom in on that. Ooh. So that looks really, really good. Nobody on the boat has ever had cobia before, so we're all gonna try it for the very first time, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down for this afternoon. It's been a very, very long day. It's time for us to just kick back, relax, enjoy what we were able to go out and get today. Oh, man, it's so good to finally be like here resting. Today was hard. I really hope you guys have been enjoying the houseboat series. It's been a really, really cool uh, few episodes to film, if you will. It's been a, it's been a really cool series. Uh, honestly, one of the most challenging. Uh, we thought we were gonna be like really good at coming out here and doing like the survival stuff, but it's been extremely challenging. So uh, it's been putting all of us to the test. And uh, today I feel like we finally had our like real first success of the whole trip, which feels so good. But um, a ton of more adventures to come. If you guys like what you see on the channel, make sure you subscribe, help me out. And uh, go ahead and subscribe to AP's channel too. He's the one that did most of the fish catching today while I just kind of played in the water and try to poke at fish. Uh, also, Elliot is the major shark research guy. His Instagram is gonna be linked in the description below as well. <sighs> Man, I love being on this houseboat because you catch the best sunsets every single evening. We're about to have a banger. Oh, and one last thing. Don't forget about the brand new merch. It's the uh, Paint Swirl series. I really don't know what it's actually called. I'm just calling it that. Uh, if you want it, it's jiggingwithjordan.com. It's gonna be linked in the description below as well. Uh, all the money from the merch goes back into these adventures so I can share epic, amazing content with you guys. So every purchase of the merch really does help. Um, with that being said, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, we'll catch you on the next adventure. Peace out. You and I till the end. Guys, in the midst of all this madness, look at this. Got a little seahorse right here. Look at that, man. Wow. All right. We're going to put him back in the water. See you, buddy. That's so cool.